guys, it's BB. Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful monarch butterflies. I hope that all of y'all are having a lovely, lovely day. All right, so in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a second project share on how I chose to use some crafting supplies from Panda Hall Selected. And just in case you missed the unboxing for these cuties, I'll be sure to be linking that video down below. Panda Hall is an online crafting market where they sell stuff for affordable prices like die cuts, embossing folders, beading, and wax seal kits. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Before I forget, there is also going to be a discount code in the description box down below for you guys to check out. So if you buy, want to buy whatever suits your fancy, you go ahead and use that and save you some coin. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I have created these fun little envelopes I think would be great for either junk journals or sending happy mail or whatever other project that you envision, just getting some ideas off of these cuties. But I'm gonna make one with you guys, so be sure to grab your scissors, some paper. It's gonna have to be an 8.5 by 11. That's what I'm gonna be using. This is from Paper Studios. These guys whatever size that suits your fancy, a, a board to crease your paper, and a bone folder, a crocodile, some cute little ribbons to tie off a bow, and your wax seals, and a bulb pin. So, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let's set off our little grommet first, right? Let's start off with that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take this little guy, one of them, because we're gonna need that. And let's find a place to put a little hole in this so we can embellish our pocket that we will be creating next. Hi, Paul. There we go, we've punctured a little hole in there. So rather than using a charm, we're using a wax I seal. decided to bring you guys a little bit closer so y'all can see what I just did. You want to say hi to the girls, Paul? Hi, girls. Hi, girls. And I'm going to do it on the smaller setting. I don't know if you can tell. It's not cooperating. We're going to do the smaller side. Whatever size this is, I can't tell. <laughs> I just know that that's what I'm going to use. And we're going to chomp down on this to set the little grommet in place. Ew. And voila. Also, if it ends up breaking, because sometimes that can happen, it did happen to me on one of them. Just take a lighter and lightly graze where it's split and it'll be good as new. Isn't that cute? And now that we've got this little guy, we're gonna go in and make our little envelope or pocket. Oh, and one more thing, you're gonna need some glue. <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. All right, so let's go ahead and show you guys how I fold the first fold. I'm, I'm gonna put it approximately maybe a little on the center approximately a little bitly i don't even know what i'm saying just watch what i'm doing guys all right so now i've creased that and then i'm gonna go in with this other side and almost put it down the middle as well so you want a little bit of overlay because that's where you're going to be gluing okay just like that well, I'm sure you guys have done this, but you know, I'm just gonna share with you guys because I think this is too cute. And then we're gonna crease there. And look how cute it's looking. I've even sent happy mail, like this literally being my envelope for some happy mail. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and crease the top and the bottom of our envelope now. And we're gonna go up to, to the two. Yeah, we'll do a two right there. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna crease it. Nice good crease, just like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it over to your other side. And this one you can either do it the same exact size and or do it a little bit longer because you can see this is shorter than this side. Very slightly, but there's a little bit of a difference. So I'm gonna go one line up. And then I'm gonna crease it there, just like that. And now you've got your creases on there. And now I'm gonna show you guys where to cut. Let's start off on the shorter end 
Now here. you're gonna cut here, just like this. See what I did? I cut right into that crease. Doing a little angle action there, you see? Just like that. Sorry for the shaking, I can't help it. Then you're gonna flip it over to the shorter sides, leaving the center. So we're gonna cut this off because we don't need that and maybe you can save it for another project. These little pieces here, these little scraps. And then, chomp, chomp, snip, snip. Then you're gonna take it to the other side, which is your longer end, and you're gonna do the exact same thing. Just like that. And then you're gonna snip off the ends, leaving again the center. Let's see. And I like to cut above the crease, not at the crease or below the crease, right above it, the crease. Boom, there you go. And then you'll see where you're gonna be gluing here and you're gonna glue here. I'm done with this guy. I'm gonna bring this guy back because I'm scared I'm gonna get glue on the table. There we go. Better be safe than sorry. We're gonna go in with our glue. Just like that. And how cute, like your friends are gonna love this. Oh yeah. And then you're gonna glue the bottom. <gasps> That's not the bottom. Oops, oops, oops. That was not the bottom. <laughs> this is the bottom. Yeah, cause it's shorter. There we go. Then you're gonna do this. Smack, smack, smack. And then you're done. I'm just kidding. We still got a few little steps to go through, but we're almost there. So then you do your little flap over like this while well, that's gluing. And honestly, you can use a, 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 a slot punch here to make like a little divot here, you know. But I'm not gonna do that today. We're gonna skip that. And I'm gonna go in with my crocodile again. And this time I'm gonna go in with the, this side, the bigger hole to make two little holes in which our ribbons are gonna go through. So like, like that, right? So super cute. And then the hard part, trying to pick out what ribbon is gonna look best with it. Voila, how cute is that? So let's see, should we use a blue or the, I think I like the pink. We're gonna do pink, cause it's so super cute. Just like that. Ah! Take two. Alrighty. Then we're gonna tie off a sweet little ribbon like that. And then you can just pretend there's bunches and bunches of Happy Mail inside, little goodies, maybe for die cuts or maybe share some lace with a friend, whatever, stickers, how cute would that be? And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my little matching wax seal my little ball pin, if it'll focus. There we go. Cute, cute. Hopefully I don't poke myself. There we go. And then I'm gonna slip this little guy right in there like a cute little charm. And we're gonna close it up. I can't with my nails. All right, I'm back. Okay, and that's it, we're done. How cute was that and how fast? Like within a matter of minutes, you have a little pouch for Happy Mail. So you can embellish them just like that and look how cute they are. You're ready to be sent out and to bring happiness. <laughs> I love it. All right, you guys, thanks so much for having joined me in today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I definitely liked to bring you guys along for the process. And if, like I said, if you are interested, I will have the website linked down below. 
to all the wonderful items as well that I have used in today's and video. A special code for you guys to use. And that is all for today. Y'all take care. I'm uh, sending you all my love. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye.